Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this episode of Makerbox Mondays, I'm going to have a look at uh, Woodville from Colorfab. So let's have a look after the intro. So this is a wood fill filament from Colorfab and we see here it prints at 195 to 220 degrees. I was printing at 200 with a good results I think. The bed can be at room 250C and you can print from 40 to 100 millimeters per second. So it's a pretty basic PLA settings for print speeds and temperatures. And they say here it has a 70% PLA and 30% recycled wood fibers and it's best to print with a bigger nozzle and I found out on a 0.4 millimeter nozzle after a while I got a filament jam so it's a good thing I had a larger nozzle to try it out with and I printed out a maker coin I'm going to show you with a 0.8 millimeter nozzle but let's have a look at the prints so the first print I did was this retraction settings and stringing test and I had quite a high number of stringing issues and maybe some over extrusions. Layer adhesion is, was not very good. I might have to print this at a higher temperature to get better layer adhesion and just peel everything off. But the filament itself has a nice texture to it and it's like a, a cardboard color somewhat and has some dark grains in it also. So as you can see it has dark brains in it and it was, uh, it's not very stiff you can bend it and, and tear it apart very similar to paper <laughs> so I would say it's like a paper cardboard material and I was then printing out several prints on the print pad and I had a power outage on my printer so the print were stalled um, and I'm going to show you my results, what I got from those. And this was no fault of the printer or the filament, just a power outage I had in my house. Um, so I was not able to finish printing those things. But the printing test uh, at this point was coming out pretty good. It was pretty stable at the shorter spans. Uh, of course I didn't have the longer spans to show you but here at this point it was just finishing the third span when the power outlets happened so it's a little bit messed up here at the end but it was looking pretty good nevertheless um, I had this strength test and this one was printing on the bed like this um, if, if I break it it's uh, not very difficult to break so it's not a not a very strong material but it bends maybe a little bit more than a PLA so it's more flexible the layer adhesion test with the upright print is not it's so short I'm able to grab it grab it on but uh, from a, what I could see here at the end the layer adhesion is not very good and this print here with the bridge at the stringing issue also so it was quite stringy and um, here in the overhang test there was some stringing issues also so that may be the one concern I had about this filament it was quite stringy here I was printing out my micro coin and here I got a filament jam and up to this point it was looking pretty good and the surface texture is very like cardboard feel <laughs> to it and it has a has a nice touch to it but uh, details so far were coming out pretty good and I was quite happy with the print even though I got the filament jam so this was looking pretty good I then changed to 0.6 millimeter nozzle and finished the maker coin with a new print and this is a bigger nozzle and the details are not as good as before because of the nozzle especially in the letters but that's not a fault of the filament it's just a nozzle size is this different but here I had some stringing though in it and also on this part but uh, it came out uh, pretty good though and it has a very good like paper or, or paper mess uh, feel to the filament uh, it's a it's a nice filament if you're gonna stain the filament you can uh, use wood stains to soak in to the filament and get different shades it's a rather light 
paper uh, wood color that this one has. I had previously tested the wood filament that was much darker and that was also from Colorfab and it was like dark brown when printed. This is this is just like a wood you would get in a normal pencil. It's a light type of wood like oak or something like that. So those were the prints I had on the wood film from Colorfab. Like I said, the power failure had interfered <laughs> with the prints, so I, I was unable to finish all the prints that I would normally do. But I would say this filament is looking pretty good. You can expect a stringing, and maybe I have to adjust the retraction settings a little bit for this filament. But you really need to have a bigger nozzle. My 0.4 nozzle on my MK2 printer clogged up after some printing. So you should have a bigger nozzle and I put in a 0.6mm nozzle and then it printed fine without this use. So that's something you should take into account if you're going to print with a filament like a wood fill. The particles tend to clog up smaller nozzle sizes. But this was my quick review of the Colorfab wood fill and I would try this filament if you're going to test out wood filaments and want to stain the filament. It's a light color and you can easily change the color with different wood stains. So it could be good for some props or, or something like that. But for now, I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.